Hello and welcome to another day on Cornwall Pocket Farm where I try and figure out how to live sustainably on 300 square metres in the city. Today I've got a couple of jobs to do that I thought I'd take you along for. Uh, the first of which is I have to clean the chicken coop out. I have to give it a really deep clean. So about, about twice a year I, I take everything out and I take the hose and I give it a really good squirt around partly because during the winter the mud sort of splashes up a little bit um, and makes it dirty around the base and also because there's lots of cobwebs and obviously there's a bit of chicken poo build up <laughs> and those types of things so a couple of times a year I like to give it a really good clean out and it, it needs a good do now and particularly because tomorrow, very excitingly, I've got a lovely lady from Go Gardening magazine coming round to take photographs of my garden and to interview me. So that's very exciting. I think the magazine comes out in like all the garden centres and night of ten and all those types of places. And also I've got several buckets of potatoes that need harvesting. Um, they've all died off, the tops die off, and I generally just leave it in the buckets uh, when they die off and then harvest them as we need them. But I need to get some uh, potatoes and I like to have them fresh so I keep them in the buckets and then when we want them I harvest them and then we can have them that night and they're absolutely delicious. If you haven't had fresh homegrown potatoes straight out of the soil you're really missing a treat. The girls are laying madly at the moment so we have a lot of eggs and I thought tonight that we would have um, a quiche uh, we've got a lot of peas and a whole bunch of stuff in the garden as well so that'll make a really delicious tea. So I'm going to harvest those. So I thought I'd bring you along because there's nothing quite as exciting as a potato reveal, is there? <laughs> well, if you're a bit like me and you've watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos um, on how to garden and all that sort of stuff, I do love a potato reveal. So we're going to see what's in there. I also have some new seed potatoes. It's a bit late in the season for me because I do try and get my potatoes in the ground sort of earlier rather than later because I find with them being in black buckets and also sitting on concrete it gets quite difficult in the summer to water them and also they are from the I was going to say Solanaceae family that's a guess the same family as p tomatoes and they they can get the psyllid bug and that comes down to us probably a little late in the, later in the season. So I have better luck growing potatoes in the autumn, winter and spring than I do in the summer. So it's getting quite close for me to actually start off some new potatoes. But I do have some seed potatoes plus some um, of those special sorts of potatoes where uh, they've been left in the vegetable box too long and they've started to sprout. So I've got some of those to go in as well. So, I've got to do those two jobs. I also need to get um, some beds planted up, but I may not get to that um, in this video. That may be early next week because it's quite windy out there anyway, and it's threatening rain, as it has been for weeks. So anyway, let's get out into the garden and I'll get on with those couple of jobs.
very windy. I'll bring you in. <laughs> I want to see the photos. Ooh, it's windy. Oh, nice. These is quite high up. There's some more behind you, so I'll just get those two. Those ones are monge too. They're not quite the same as these ones. These are snap peas, but they're all they're all lagoons, aren't they? Right. And, and I think there's a couple of asparagus as well. So I'll get those. And we're gonna have to call time on this because it's raining again. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> ah. Well, I've had to give up. It keeps pouring with rain and then the sun will come out and then it's windy and <laughs> standard spring weather. So I have actually managed to get the chicken deep cleaned, which I really wanted to do and that took a lot longer than I anticipated. These jobs always do. <laughs> you think, oh yeah, I'll do that in an hour and no. So anyway, that took me a lot longer than I expected. Um, I actually ended up just doing one bucket emptying because that's given us enough, well, for several two or three meals and I like to have them fresh so I will leave the other bucket until we need them again and I've got some lovely peas and monge too you probably can't see it in my basket here <laughs> I've got some um, some lovely peas and monge too for tea as well uh, so yeah and then tomorrow hopefully the, I've, I've given the place a bit of a sweep uh, and you know as I always say to everybody, it's a working farm <laughs> and that gives it a great excuse to just be a bit messy, which is, which is what it is at the moment. So it's a working farm, so that's what Go Gardening magazine will see tomorrow. I'm going to call it quits now and I'm all covered in cobwebs and um, chicken poo, so I'm going to go and have a shower now. And then if there's a bit of footage from tomorrow's Go Gardening visit, I'll pop it in after, after this. But anyway, I will see you next time. Bye. Fortunately, the weather is not playing ball, so it's a bit windy and a bit rainy. But anyway, hopefully we'll get some good shots. Oh, this should be fun. Maggie's getting her photo taken. What does she think of that? Usually she won't sit still. It's amazing she'll stay there actually. Usually she doesn't stay. Probably smell my dog. <laughs> oh Maggie, you're a star. <laughs> she knows she's a star. She's a star of all the videos. <laughs>